Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Blog Podcast. Today is Sunday, June 3rd, 2018. Today I'm going to recap Game 3 of the Stanley Cup Final between the Golden Knights and the Capitals. Look back on last night's baseball action. Look ahead to today's action. And I'm going to close out the podcast by picking Game 2 of the NBA Finals. Here we go. The Capitals feed the Golden Knights 3-1 to to take a 2-1 series lead. Fun game. Alex Ovechkin got the scoring going in the first period. His 14th of the playoffs, assisted by John Carlson and Evgeny Kuznetsov in the second period, a minute, 10 seconds in, one not the Caps. Evgeny Kuznetsov's 12th of the playoffs, assisted by J.B. Beagle and T.J. Oshie, two nothing Caps, third period. Tomas Nosek gets the Golden Knights on the board with his 4th of the playoffs, assisted by pierre Edward Belmari. We get them within 2-1. Then Devontae smith Pelly puts it away with his fifth of the playoffs, assisted by Jay Beagle. 3-1 caps was your final. Braden Holpe was really good in this game. Twenty-one saves on twenty-two shots. Mark Andre Fleury. Twenty-three saves on twenty-six shots. Game four will be Monday night, and I'll pick that game on tomorrow's podcast. Baseball. Yesterday's result, the Brewers feed the White Sox 5-0 as they improve to 37-22. The White Sox dropped to 17-38. Julius Chassim with the win, now 4-1 on the year. James Shields with the loss, he drops to 1-6. The Royals feed the Athletics 5-4 as they improve to 21-37. The A's drop to 30-29. Tim Hill with the win, now 1-1 in the year. He's Mario Petit with the loss. He drops to 2-2. Kevin Herrera with his 13th save of the year. The Cardinals feed the Pirates 3-2 on a walk-off home run by Colton Wong. They improve to 31-25. Pittsburgh drops to 30-28. Bud Norris with the win, now 2-1 on the year. Rich Rodriguez with the loss drops to 1-2. The Tigers defeat the, the Blue Jays 7-4 as they improve to 28-30. Toronto drops to 25-33. Lewis Coleman with the win, now 3-0 on the year. Sian Kumang O oh, with the loss, he drops to 1-1. Joe Jimenez with his first save of the year. The Yankees feed the Orioles 8-5 as they improve to 37-17. The Orioles drop to 17-41. Masahiro Tanaka with the win, now 7-2 on the year. Kevin Gossman with the loss, he drops to 3-5. The Twins feed the Indians 7 1 as they improve to 24 and 30. The Indians drop to 30 and 27. Lance Lynn with the win. He's 4 and 4 on the year now. Trevor Bauer, the loss, drops to 4 and 4. The Nationals feed the Braves 5 to 3 in 14 innings. They improve to 33 and 24. The Braves drop to 34 and 24. Justin Miller, the win now 2 and 0 oh in the year. Miguel Sokolovich with the loss. He drops to 0 oh and 1. Sean Doolittle with his 14th save of the year. The Red Sox feed the Astros 5 to 4 as they improve to 40 and 19. The Astros drop to 37 and 23. David Price with the win, he's now 6 and 4. Will Harris with the loss, he drops to 1 and 3. Craig Kimbrell gets his 19th save of the year. The Cubs defeat the Mets 7 to 1 in 14 innings as they improve to 32 and 23. The Mets drop to 27 and 29. Luke Farrell with the win, now 2 and 2. Buddy Ballman with the loss drops to 0 and 2. The Dodgers feed the Rockies 12 to 4 as they improve to 28 and 30. The Rockies drop to 30 and 28. Pedro Baez with the win improves to 2 and 3. Brian Shaw with the loss drops to 2 and 4. The Padres feed the Reds 8 to 2 as they improve to 26 and 34. The Reds drop to 21 and 38. Eric Lauer with the win improves to 2 and 3. Matt Harvey with the loss he drops to 1 and 4. The Rangers feed the Angels 3 to 2 as they improve to 25 and 36. The Angels drop to 31 and 28. Jake Dykeman with the win now 1 and 0 in the year. Jose Alvarez with the loss he drops to 2 and 2. Keone Kila with his 13th save of the year. The Giants feed the Phillies 2 0 as they improve to 28 and 30. The Phillies drop to 31 and 25. Andrew Suarez with the win now 2 and 4 on the year. Vince Velasquez with the loss he drops to 4 and 6. Hunter Strickland gets his 12th save of the year. The Mariners feed the Rays 3 to 1 as they improve the 36 and 22. The Rays drop the 28 and 29. Marco Gonzalez with the win, he's now 6 and 3 on the year. Chris Archer with the loss drops the 3 and 4. Edwin Diaz with his 20th save of the year. The Diamondbacks feed the Marlins 6 to 2 
as they improved to 30 and 27. The Marlins dropped to 20 and 38. Zach Rinky with the win improves to 4 and 4. Caleb Smith with the loss drops to 4 and 6. Today's games, I just got note that Yankees Orioles will be postponed and the doubleheader will be made up on August 25th. So that would have been a 105 start today, but that game was postponed. You have Blue Jays Tigers, Aaron Sanchez and Michael Fulmer, Cubs Mets, John Lester and Steven Matz, Nationals Braves, Jeremy Hellickson and Aaron Sanchez, Brewers White Sox, Brent Sutter and Dylan Covey, Indians Twins, Mike Clevenger and Kyle Gibson, Athletics Royals, Daniel Gosson and Jacob Junis, Pirates Cardinals, Nick Kingham and Michael Waka, Dodgers Rockies, Alex Wood and Chad Bettis, Phillies Giants, Jake Arrieta and Derek Rodriguez, Rangers Angels, Doug Fister and Tyler Skaggs, Rays Mariners, Blake Snell and Felix Hernandez, Marlins Diamondbacks, Dan Straley and Matthew Koch, Reds Padres, Luis Casillo and Tyson Ross, Last but not least, Sunday Night Baseball, 7.30 start on ESPN. Rick Porcello and Charlie Morton. I think they're starting this one at 7.30 solely because the NBA Finals game starts at 8. And they want the ratings for the NBA Finals, obviously. I'm going to take the Astros in this game. They have the distinct pitching advantage here. Rick Porcello is not as good on the road as he is at Fenway. Charlie Morton is much better at home than he is on the road. So there's that. So give me the Astros, let's say, 5-2 to two win. And it won't feel like 5-2 to two as the Red Sox threaten late in the game against the Astros' bullpen. But the Astros' bullpen finds a way to get it done. So let's say 5-2 to Houston as they take 3 out of 4 and the Red Sox would end up in a tie with the Yankees for first place in the American League East. Game 2 of the NBA Finals is tonight between the Cavaliers and the Warriors. 8 o'clock, ABC, Mike Breen, Mark Jackson, Jeff Van Gundy, Doris Burke on the call. This is going to be an interesting game. Will the Warriors blow out the Cavs? Or will the Cavaliers make it a close game yet again? This should be very interesting. Let's go with the Warriors here to take a 2-0 series lead. I think the Cavs will have a bit of a letdown after what happened with J.R. Smith. Kevin Love will play. Tristan Thompson will play. But I just think the Warriors will win by double digits yet again. Except this one won't go to overtime. Give me 115-97 to as your final score. As Stephen Curry... I think Clay Thompson will play. He's questionable because of the ankle injury. I think he'll play. Andre Iguodala might be back for this one. That should help the Warriors and especially their bench. And then you have Draymond Green, who started to shoot threes again all of a sudden in the second half of that game one. And don't forget about Kevin Durant. He's going to be great in this game. So... Let's go with 115-97 Warriors to take a 2-0 series lead. That's all I got for today. I want to be quick with this one. I'll be back tomorrow doing all the power rankings for baseball, recapping Game 2 of the NBA Finals, looking at the Game 4 of the Stanley Cup Final, and a lot more. And don't forget the MLB draft is tomorrow, so I'll be doing my final mock draft on the podcast tomorrow. I hope you guys have a great day, everybody.